Auran Haya starts in the broadcast in and in Skype, so just be quiet. We are live, and um, I have with me Julia. Hi, Julia. Julia, and I have with me Brian, Kerry, Khan, Tara Ferry V. And today is December 11, 2016. Um, I'm broadcasting now from Hukula 2. So if you want to get invited, uh, subscribe to Hukula 2 channel 1. And I post also the announcements now on, on uh, uh, Facebook. I just got a message. We started at 11.11. .11. On my time, it's 9.14, but that's okay. Oh, 11.11, 11. yeah, okay, today is 12.11. 11. Anyway, I'm doing the, <clears throat> actively involved now in Facebook. Facebook, as unfriendly it is, lots of people are there, so it is uh, a good tool and I use it. Basically, people just networkers network on, work on the YouTube, on Facebook. Next, I invite your comments down here under the video and at max at humancolony.org. You can also go to humancolony.org and see our future webinars. And I will highlight, we have Khan who is painting in real time. Hmm. <clears throat> who is that? <laughs> anyway, um, um, you can donate for, for Jim's monitor, which I, was three hundred dollars. You can send money to Max at or by PayPal. I invite helpers to moderate the webinars and to press buttons so channelers can focus on channeling. Uh, we invite someone to take charge of um, past videos into a radio and into a um, how do you call it? Podcasts. So it's to convert it to the sound and let people watch, listen to it from their smartphones. I think that's about it. I will, I'm a beginner channeler, so I'll go slow because I need to listen and then to translate basically. Well, that, that's what happens. And um, if I go faster, I just, I just start speaking with less precision. I, I just, you know, have hard time to, to differentiate where is mine and where is theirs. So I have to listen and speak to them, double check what they say. Mm. That's it. I will take uh, any questions so far. I will feel comfortable with my favorite Yogananda and Nina. So I will bring Yogananda first and then Nina second. One, once before I tried just to take tours like Jim does, like, you know, bring different people. And I, I got sick after that. It just, when so many spirits enter you, you kind of, your body becomes, get used to that, becomes disoriented, I guess. Uh, should I leave Khan's picture? I will leave Khan's picture in, so Khan, you will be in control of the, how do you call it? I will give you mouse. So if you need me there, just click to be me. Like that con. Like that me, like that con. But I think it's it's um con is great. So let's do con. And I will be a small box underneath. <clears throat> so I will I will take four minutes to 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 get yoga under through. Gosh. 
Hello. How is the sound? Hello? You sound good, Max. Everything's good. Hi. This is this is Yogananda. Until I became a Swami, a monk of Swami order, I was Maku Makunda. <coughs> And then I became Swami Yogananda, and then I became Paramahansa Yogananda. Uh, the topic of today is enlightenment. And the idea of today is smile. Lighten up, lighten yourself. Just smile, realize the reality it's called bifurcation, splits. The reality splits now. There is a split in reality, it's already started. Imagine. <clears throat> The old earth and the new earth, earth, just splitting, splitting, splitting. Like two pieces of bread which are stuck to each other and you kind of pull them apart. Like two pieces of cheese and cakes. <laughs> they kind of stuck and sometimes they break but they're splitting. That is a split in reality. Which reality do you want to belong? Lighten up. One reality is light, dark. One reality is light, and another is heavy. Wolf, do you want to feed the light one or the dark one? Lighten up, smile. 
Enlightenment is the deep realization of the nature of the reality. The deep down to the gut level, down to the cell level, down to the blood level, understanding that it is a dream. You are in charge of that dream. You are dreaming it. Smile, laugh, lighten up. The fear is how to become bold, how to become strong, how to become committed, how to become brave. It comes from inner understanding, from bringing your logical understanding down to the heart, down to the solar plexus. You realize the only safe way is the way forward. When you realize the only safety is the only safety is in your path. Stagnating on your path is danger. Deviating into safe is dangerous. The only safe way is moving forward, following your heart, down to the solar plexus. Let understanding do, and which is not in words, and not even in the feelings. It is in the gut feeling. Feeling. <laughs> That's where we become bold, brave, and move forward. When you understand the support from the universe. When you understand, to get the support from the universe, you got to move forward. Choosing now is safer than not choosing. Split, you have to choose. And as you choose, you have to smile to lighten up. That is the safest way. How do you become kind and compassionate up through lighting up because if you are sad and depressed you cannot share anymore the flow of the energy stops your sadness your fear blocks the flow of the energy so Choose to smile. Choose to look at the situation from the bright side. Choose to look at the opportunity from the bright side. Take charge. Move forward because that is your path. That is a safe choice. Being a safe choice. Being afraid and scared and depressed and playing safe is unsafe. <laughs> hmm. There is a huge work being done in the sky. Hmm, let me say, being done behind the scenes in the dimension, in other, in higher dimensional, lower dimensional, other dimensional, between dimensional, non-dimensional levels. A big work is being done behind the scenes by the spirits, the creator spirit, this creator spirit community. You cannot imagine how many spirit programmers are working on rebuilding, replotting your timeline. More than there is people on earth. 
you shift it, and the shift has been momentous. You quick, but in the spirit world, it was a big preparation, a big work, and it continues. The old. plan involved one big event which would cause a global collapse, a global disaster. It is necessary because as the earth splits, as a new earth forms, not all the human spirits can choose it. Many spirits are stuck in the third dimensional darkness, in the third dimensional heaviness. They will, their free choice, their free choice is respected. Not all of them will choose the new earth. So there is a dilemma, what to do, how to prevent mass suffering, how to keep the vibrations high, but allow only the only those who want only those spirits who want to stay on the new earth and there are options of course one is a slow option to keep uplifting everyone so everyone graduates <laughs> Another option is to bring in the aliens, right? The hybrids and aliens and allow them to keep the high vibration of the earth. The choice of the humans, the choice of human collective to allow that. It's not that 100% of everybody would have to be high vibration, but it needs needs to be a certain certain relation, certain harmony, a certain harmonious collective agreement to uplift, to ascend. So classical decision was just to wipe out a large population through disasters, bitter spirits, and that, that would clean up the opportunity for the ascension. Where this became more permissive for gradual upgrade. And these scenarios are being considered, being replayed. The free choices of many are being respected it is possible to uplift certain parts of earth one at a time layers of the society one at a time as the dominoes started falling as the as the pyramid has started, as the social pyramid has started falling apart. There are now other opportunities to keep certain islands alive, certain islands of the pyramid, certain islands of the consciousness alive and prevent the global catastrophe. It is a great opportunity at the moment. Many spirits are programming that, helping that, promoting that. It is up to human collective to play it right. As the global catastrophe might have been avoided, so there could happen now 
open contact. Could happen now through islands of consciousness. Not one big awakening at once, but of awakening, multiple layers, multiple islands, one place at a time, also an opportunity. It would be less catastrophic and give more opportunity for healthy development. These are all scenarios. And the creator spirits and the aliens and the human collective spirit are working light working creatively to make the transition, make the ascension in the most harmonious way. What can you do personally to assist? Lighten up, lighten up, lighten up. Take our gift of energy. Take our gifts of downloads, gifts of upgrades, spiritual and genetic. Lighten up. The easiest path is to smile. The easiest path is to be neutral and light. It all easy. Take it all creatively. See the opportunities. On the high level of the spirit, you can see the opportunities. Lift yourself up. Lift your friends up. <laughs> Lift your network up. Have a look at the opportunities. And... Be bold, be strong, move forward. Repress your depression, your fear. Negate your negativity. Block your blockages. Release, drop, detoxify. Take it easy. Don't be afraid. <laughs> it is a test for everyone. A test of faith. A test of wisdom. A test for integrity. Harmonize yourself. Drop whatever is not harmonious with you. Find yourself. Harmonize with your inner core. The answer comes from within. The answer comes from connecting to your true self. I bless you all. You are not alone. Mother Creator is with you. A myriad of creators are with you, offering you assistance. Smile, lighten up. And here I invite questions, comments, sharings. Julia, do you have any questions, comments, sharings? Speak up, speak up, speak up. Yes. Uh, oh, hello Brian, there. Greetings. 
I have a question. Yes, thank you. Um, did was was it a struggle in your life when you were human on the planet? I mean, did you did you enjoy your life um, when you were here as a human? I was blessed. Much during the birth after the birth, I was allowed to remember my much. It was practically needed. I was on assignment, on assignment, and in the heaviness of the world at that time, I had to have a lot of revelations. I was blessed with confirmations, direct conversations, direct proofs which it is was permitted and natural and necessary so i always had into my higher self and higher friends i was blessed with a guru I went through Phoenix-like transformations several times in my life. The later me wasn't the earlier me. And yet, remember as Yeshua of Nazareth was desperate to cross. He was in desperation, he was lost, he was complaining. So was I. Several times in my life, I was desperate. You see, we, even with spirit guidance, even with miracles of Divine Mother, ready formula, I tried, I tried, I tried many things. I was in an assignment and there was no ready answer. Even with help of the spirits, which of the east to the west, impossible there was resistance I had many things I tried many things in different times so through the two world wars and through the big unrest in India which costed The only way I could go through is through smiling, is through understanding that it is an illusion. It is all guided by the divine plan, divine assistance. Spirits don't die, bad die, not the spirits. And that I have to be on the mission, follow my path, accomplish my mission, no matter what. And I have to keep trying here and there, here and there, this way, another way, this way, another way. And once in a while, there was a sparkle of success. Once in a while, there was a gift of accomplishment. Yet many things were done after I have gone. Many things were accomplished, completed later. I was a predecessor. I was hurt and let other continued for me it was comp continued after me we are 
a group of spirits to the preparation for the ascension it's in different ways in different places together we incarnate as a series of teachers and students who work on the same plan because it takes more than one lifetime to get it rolling. <laughs> it's hard to imagine the earth how it was in my time. It's really hard. The things were different. But yet, The only way forward was for through smiling and up, keeping it light, listening and being brave and bold. Thank you for the question. It was good to connect to that to that life. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Any more questions, comments, prepare your questions or sharings or comments. Julia? Khan, Kina? Hi, it's Carl. Hi. Do you have any advice for uh, Middle East countries for these days, especially Turkey? Tell me more. Tell me more. What is happening? It's uh, there was uh, in my country there was a suicide bomb yesterday and people afraid so much things going to chaos maybe thank you tell me more what is uh, the history what are the players uh, i don't know there is so much uh, secret things about governments and terror attacks. Uh, lots of people fear about this. They don't go outside. They don't go out park. They they are just killing social life slowly. I know it's it's I know it's it's the part of the journey. But uh, maybe you can. You do you have any advice for this state? Yes, thank you. The advice is the same. Lighten up, smile. <laughs> it goes against what you and but it is not. Lighten up with compassion. Lighten up, smile. Back to your inner wisdom. Understand. As you smile, you heal it. The prayers, through the meditations, through your, through your heart, through your guts, through your blood, through your cells, through your DNA, through your atoms, through your, through your elementary particles. 
understand the system got to crash the deception it has to be reformed it has to be transformed transformed so the dominoes started falling really matter how the events are organized either bad guys or good guys are behind them either bad spirits or good spirits are behind them there is no one no human no human group in charge of this nation there is no one in control there is no secret government A network of hackers. Each of them is scared. Each each of them float in muddy waters. The groups are trying to float in muddy waters. No one is in control. There is no secret government. There is no secret alien government. There are groups, loosely associated groups. As things fall, drag down the vibration, it will drag down the lives and health. It is necessary. Understand that the only way to transform is through changing things. It is a reform, destruction, and rebuilding from scratch. Destruction or rebuilding from the seeds. The seeds are already there. Your life are already there. You are your friends, your lots of good people, people around are seeds, are the seeds of the new life. Life will be built differently. It will be less structured, less hierarchical. The society in different islands might go through structures, dictatorial structures, dictators, presidents, tsars, kings. But the ultimate future state is more less hierarchical more horizontal it's a network of free people less domination over tribal rainforest more like internet lots of nodes each of them is valid So connect to nice people, connect to the creative forces. Take it easy. It's just a phase. As negative things happen, they surface, they force to the surface. The information, the truth comes, comes out. Negative events and then awakening is good. Negative things also awaken, but positive things also awaken and then they separate. They separate through attraction of nice to nice, bad to bad. To earth separate. So as things fall apart, as things the cream, the cream lifts from the milk. The niceness unites. The people of high vibration unite. So stay, inflate yourself with light and you will float on the 
in muddy waters. Move forward, connect, find the souls of your kind, path, find the opportunities for enlightenment, for helping others. And sometimes the others are on the bottom, so reach to the bottom and help others. Keep your eyes open, keep your senses open. Random people could become your network. Some of them can help you understand a time for giving forward. This is a time when, when you receive help, you don't have to pay back. Sometimes you do, but not necessarily have to pay back. And these times you help forward, you pay forward. In the network, you just send help to whoever you can help and receive, receive help from others. There is no one-to-one, -one. it's to one. The flow of wealth, the flow of help, the flow of compassion, the flow of energy that is now going through the network in waves, not necessarily back and forth, not necessarily two people sharing back and forth. It's, it could be unidirectional, it could be a network of events. As I received help from people, I would send help forward to other people. That's called helping forward. Connect to the other events in the history which happened in every country. In India, in America. Look at assassinations in America. Look at You see, Kennedy was assassinated. That was a big awakening. Realize that many of those events are considered by the spirits to allow or not to allow. And uh, the probabilities are weighted. And often they are being allowed because of the long perspective, long range benefit. Because the system now needs now to be shaken up and people awakened. Look at the history of Germany, of Europe. Look how the terrorist acts in the Europe transform the history. You will understand the mechanics. You will understand the divine guidance. There was so many opportunities for the humanity to go wrong, for the humanity to become much more dictatorial, much more heavy, much lower vibrational. Miracles happened that kept the islands of light alive the survival of England, the survival of America, the Renaissance in Europe after the World War II. It was unlikely, but it happened through the divine guidance from the spirit and through light and work of humans. Any more comments here or any other topic? I have a question if you can hear me. Yes, I can hear. Thank you. Okay. I'm um, sorry. I came on late. Um, so this might have been answered, but I wondered if there's um, obviously the what's happening with Standing Rock and what's um, and the water protectors. Um, can you elaborate a little bit on the significance of that ascension? 
Tell me more, please. Um, they're trying to put a pipeline through North Dakota and over Native American land. And the, the Native Americans have gathered from all over the world. I believe there's up to 10,000 people there now. And um, everyone around the world is participating and just really standing up that this is sacred land and this is water is life and um, to not allow this pipeline to go through. Thank you. Give me a second. Again, lighten up, see the process, see how this movement and this unity will There is much support from the planet. The planet itself is conscious and the planet itself participates. There is much support from the Native American spirit, which is connected to the Pleiades, which is connected to the Pleiadian There is much support there. There is extraterrestrial component in this conflict. The people are guided, the people are inspired. There is much of the spirit work. It is a huge, great awakening. It is a catalyst for awakening. As you see, as you see the system will shake. It is shaking now, the dominoes are falling. So it is hard to predict. But this unity in itself, this networking, this connectedness of the enlightened people, it outcome. It is a catalyst, a catalyst for awakening. The oil is, is the blood of Earth. It's the blood of the planet. Eating it is reckless. Wasting oil is reckless. Driving big cars, wasting the gas, is reckless. Buses, trains, they can save the energy. Dear Westerners, drive hours just to, to have a dinner. Drive just for fun. It's madness. 
In my life, I used the car. We traveled much. But I had a higher mission. I had a necessity. There was no other way to accomplish what I needed to accomplish. So it is all about the the purpose and the means. Lighten up. You still can drive a car if you have to. And accomplish what you can accomplish from home. Don't. Think ecologically. Educate your children. It's not a one-day process. It's not one-year process. Think in generations. Think long-term. Lots, th lots of things will change now. Within a year or two, there will be a huge shift. You are of a big transformation. Whatever is happening now will turn, flip the situation several times before it stabilizes. Lightly, take it easy. Understand that networking and awakening are the primary goals. Stay in light, stay in smiling, stay in, in bliss. And the circumstances are secondary. The unity is primary and the circumstances are secondary. The situation will flip multiple times, many times. Good people become people, bad people become good people, good companies become bad companies and so on. The good and bad switch, switch, switch sides many times. President, this president, this party, this party, this country, this country, who is right? It will switch several times. Only primary thing is stay in light, stay in, in a high vibration, blocking depression, blocking blockages, moving forward, feeling your path and being guided, keeping faith. Questions? Okay, I will bring Nina. For co-creation of this conversation. I thank you all for participation and being part of it, for asking questions on listening. I send you energy at your wish. I will come, connect to my friends, to my teachers and students, we will come. Stay up, stay high. Positive. You may mean it, I will bring Nina. I'll come back later. Now let me bring in a she can answer. I'm on way out. I'm related to Yogananda. We are one. I'm Nina. I'm Max's daughter in the alien world. 
I'm a human with the hybridization to Yael and Pleiadian. You may ask questions about whatever you like. I'm more aware of the alien world. Shared hybridization ideas. And now on understanding what is happening and the human world is difficult for us. The changes are unusual. Things happen in an expected way. The propositions from different galactic societies, from different actually networks and um, alliances. But let's all be connected to Yale and Pleiadian ideas. We consult with the experts on the human life from Earth and the reptilians and even Orions have much of hands-on experience. We watch it closely. We have the advantage of collecting the information at will and the advantage of stretching time at will and concentrate and study. Yet that is unpredictable, so much undefined. Our overall understanding is positive. The changes that started seem to be surface, but they cause awakening, which is positive. Multiple, partly open contacts is attractive. It takes all the pressure of the preparation as the mistakes will be less pronounced. Then that we are likely to make mistakes as we understand humans. As there is much of fear. So we would be able to try several times, many times, and go in different locations with limited amount of publicity. So it could be possible as the Earth becomes fragmented, the news about the open contact in one place might not proliferate and the bigger awakening. So we will have to, to, we'll be able, we might be able to try in many locations with limited penetration into our global consciousness. There will be news, but it, they will not be breaking news. There will be just second page so-called, last page so-called news. Some people will believe, some people will not, the life will continue. That might be a good scenario, we are considering it. There is many people, many extraterrestrial people and alliances in consideration. We continue our hybridization program, we prepare for landing. If we are invited. We are pre prepared for being invited. For offer of help. Human hybrids, the human, humans, are studying their conditions on Earth, preparing themselves to visit uh, when they are invited. Some of our friends outside of Gurkhvitnir already visited the Earth for short periods of time, hours and possibly under a week, just to feel the environment, just to feel the vibration and to learn. We, everyone, everyone benefits from these secret visits. As we are in diplomatic relationship with the governments, we are not doing this. Others are doing this.
the colonies are fine. I'm not in the colonies at the moment, but I'm aware of the program continuous work there. New people join, new people visit, new people get trained. Part of the training is case of local disasters. Part of the trainings are in telepathy, part of the trainings are in healing, part of the trainings are in staying harmonization, which is also healing. Much of the training is actually for, for us. We are learning from your visits. We have people, extraterrestrial people, who would do face-to-face -to -face and learn from you, to learn your ways, learn your understandings. Happening. Issues are becoming involved. The interest of draconians is awakening. Many of them are higher dimensional, very high dimensional. As the wars are being predicted, they've been consulted. For staying connected. I thank you for staying enlightened. I thank you for staying positive. In my life, I also meet with uh, in the galaxy, and, and I'm involved in. And as I see the destruction. And, but I have it's easier for me in this fourth density as I'm closer connected to my higher self, my guides, and the spiritual realm. It's higher to me. Higher for me to see the big picture, but yet I understand and I empathize with the suffering. I send my healing to whoever I can and I keep doing my work. I dream about Earth. I remember my visits to the Earth and I feel homesick after the earth. I invite your comments and questions. Nina, it's a pleasure to talk with you. Lewis, and I love my pleasure. I was, I was wondering, uh, I felt that I'm not quite as connected when I do Reiki the last few weeks. And it's very important for me to do it. I was wondering if there's any other reason than my personal self for that. Also, another question I have is about... Wait a second. Can we do one at a time? Oh, okay. Um, did you say that you had trouble doing Reiki? I don't feel quite as connected the last few weeks. So when you do Reiki, you feel less connected, right? That's the way it's felt for me for a couple of weeks now. And I'm Thank wondering you. if there's uh, anything besides me. I understand. Yes, absolutely. Um, That was as expected. That was universal. 
the solar system. I'm sorry, the sound is sort of breaking up. Reality. It is. Second. Second. Uh, Lewis, it is uh, internet. You will be able to hear my answer. It's breaking up a little. So the problem was it's in a tunnel. I don't understand. Uh, I can understand you. Keep talking, please. The the problem was caused. The disconnection was caused by the rift in the reality, which happened in the past two weeks. It's okay. It is actually was expected due to astrological and astral waves and processes, oscillations and circles, cycles, yes, yeah, cycles. It was expected due to astral cycles. It is like rebirth of the phoenix. And actually some of us went through this phoenix rebirth process. Two weeks. Part of you were dying and, bur and born again. I see. I is that is the key and the connectedness is secondary. Don't feel the connectedness. Might be and is the healing as you parts of your spirit discover them telepathic understanding would be elevated understand people a little bit much you'll be able to understand people much better just by looking at them and feeling them. Your ability to connect to your guides would be clearer. It's a time to practice listening to people and listening to the guides. And time to upgrade your mantras and prayers. Mantras and prayers. Okay. Write them down, and as you write, you don't have to read them again, but as you write, your hand might give you some guidance for what to say. It is individual. Keep asking for healing. But there will be new keys plugged into your mantras, which open new doors. Opportunities to heal people in a higher dimensional way. Realize that for many people, the sickness is just an excuse to get an upgrade. So be ready to download for them the upgrade into their chakras, each of the chakras, each of the many chakras. Heal, upgrade others. You might prompt them, you might ask if they are okay with the upgrades. Some people give you the permission just by being your patients, others might prefer to be asked. 
So upgrades now come as chunks of program, the program which is a combination of light, DNA code, codes, and uh, the waves. Okay, light and the waves, the same thing. Light, waves, DNA code, and um, the numerical digital and um, textual code. They come as chunks of the program. You can feel them coming through your hands as you download them for the people. Their chakras. And then they will gradually incorporate in their blood and stay light. Thank you for the question. It is right to the point. Thank you very much. I have another question. Thank About you. Six weeks ago, I partially remember a dream uh, where we were discussing my DNA. Would you be able to tell me, was that with Get Fit Near? Are you asking if the dream was from Gork Fitnir? If I was with them or if they were analyzing my DNA. Yes, we were. Just a second. All right, the question is, you already have a little bit of draconian DNA. Would you like to get an upgrade? The draconians offer a little upgrade in your nervous system and heart and, and brain. That will give you the connection and the ability to download their wisdom. They, they promise not to misuse it, to misuse the connection. I want to grow and uh, become a more useful person in the uh, universe we live in. I'm sorry, and, I couldn't uh, hear what you say. The sound breaks. Oh, this, this would be called this way the royal dragons from Alpha Draconis. I, I think it's up to me to mentally uh, say yes. And uh, I, uh, I have asked for uh, upgrades. Thank you. The other upgrades are in progress. Thank you. I have one more small question. Thank you, yes. Uh, about three years ago, I noticed on both arms a uh, bump about two inches below my elbow on the front side of my arm and they're just about symmetrically placed would you be able to tell me if those are implants this time the question I cannot give you a complete answer. And they were either from the Pleiadians or from the people from inner earth. The complete answer. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time and energy and I send you uh, my love. Thank you. Uh, your dear friend, we appreciate your friendship. I invite more questions.
questions in the okay, comments. Can, can you hear me? They can. Can everybody hear me? Who are you speaking? My name is Shirley. Hi, Shirley. Hi. Um, my question is, um, I recently had a, a reading that said that uh, my star family was uh, ready to meet. Oh, the sound broke. Can you repeat? You had the reading and then the sound disappeared. Oh, I'm sorry. And they said in the reading was that my star family was ready to meet me in person and that they were Syrian. And um, so my question, I guess, is, uh, I mean, I've, I've, I've been told that I was uh, from uh, Arcturus and now Sirius is coming into play. So if you could elaborate or any information on um, my home galaxy, if there is one. Yes, I'm, I understand the question. Thank you. Let me. Give me a minute. Thank you. If you had to choose between dogs and cats, which I'm sorry, I didn't hear that at all. It was totally broken. If you had to choose between cats, which ones would you choose? Dog. I have an amazing spirit dog who just came into our life two months ago, and I love her so much. Thank you. If you had to choose between mammals and birds, which ones would you choose? I say mammals, but that would be difficult. Mm -hmm. So what is your connection to the birds? My connection, I don't know. It's somehow I seem to, um, like yesterday morning, I noticed that they were weeks and weeks and it's like they wanted me to um to recognize that for some reason yes hmm. you see you have choices of the connection your soul is experienced in many cultures and uh, is already established with many cultures. Your connection to, to the dog. It is a dog star, a dog constellation. A triple star, a dog triple star. Dog, uh, dolphin humans. Come from that strategy. Actually, this now strengthens. So you are invited to get downloads from them and to bring their 
I've been on the earth much. The presence is other relatives. The presence is through shamanic work, through the serious country, through Assyria, Babylonian culture, through the Dagon tribe of the Africa, and many other infusions and tribes. Around and the guidance is high dimensional. Particularly also in your ancestry, in your human earth ancestry, also connected to them as many people of the earth, but your connection is bolder. So it is for you to accept. The connection to the Arcturians has been symbolized through the birds who invited you to accept them. The Arcturian energy is also high. It's more structured, it's more rigid, it's more straightforward in some ways. They invite you their galactic languages. Do you speak galactic languages? Um, I just uh, sing and writing. I haven't really spoken yet. Dancing is a perfect way to connect to the serious, it sounds serious, it's very light. It's a smiling energy, serious energy. As you dance, consider singing, and they might connect through that. And as they connect through that, you channel to receive and to communicate with them. Of course, I'm nervous and shy to dance, so they want me to dance. <laughs> oh, you can dance by yourself. You don't have to show that to anyone, right? And so on by yourself, right? When nobody is around except your, your animals. Thank right? you. And so with my, um, for two weeks, uh, I believe that that was life-changing, altering for me. Any information on, on the significance of that trip for me? Yes, hold on a second. Thank you. Can I jump in and make a blessing? Um... Did you hear the question? Johannes, did you hear the question? I didn't hear her question. I just have much energy and it wants to come out and it feels like okay. it could help. <laughs> <laughs> the question was about the trip of Shirley to Peru. And the question was, what was the significance? What was the meaning of that trip? And then I invite your blessing to express that answer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, ashishi araiaka no so shuaki na sishia. 
Shaiya no yo 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 aia, na ia 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 ia, kororo a ni 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 a shu 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 a wa wa wa, kari a ri a ri a ri a no 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 a ri 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 ri, sha wa 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 ki 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 a na na na, ru a na shi shi a wa si ki, na ha ha ha, sha wa ki, na shu, ra. This to pair was a connection to the Pleiadian energy. There is more coming, but I'm not supposed to pronounce the, the name yet. It might come later. Hmm. Thank you so much, both of you. Thank you. Um, I wonder if I could ask a quick question. It can be a slow question. I, I like it fast. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I was told just recently that there is a being around me with the name Ishkan. I was wondering if there's any um, information that you can give me on this being and um, what their connection is to myself. Just a second. Say again your name, please. My name is V, and the name of the being is Ishkan. Thank you. So Ishkan is a is a dragon, and it the invitation to connect through your stones. The dragons are an ancient species. Many of our royals are connected to the dragons. And the crystals tool to connect to the dragon energy. And this dragon energy grows on earth at this they provide their service for the transformation. They are great transformers, great upgraders. Balance the light and dark, they balance creative and destructive energies. The negative energies are not dangerous for them. They can take them easily as they are big and balanced. They are not material. They are way beyond. They are higher dimensional. They are multidimensional, but they are not in fourth density. They are above that. So they are the ones who are responsible for the wars. They are the spirits of the wars and the spirits of revolutions, the spirits of transformations. They work in coordination with the divine, divine mother, with the divine wisdom, with the creation spirits. They are the partners of the creation spirits. So they provide their energy. So you can connect to them through the crystals. They
prefer the pyramids of the teal color. Teal pyramids and black pyramids. For Egyptian proportions. But other stones are valid as well. Any more questions? Um, yes, two more small questions. Um, the first one is I've been getting a lot of information uh, downloads about um, exactly what you're speaking of as pyramids and pyramid activation as well as moon cycles. Is there any other information that they need me to receive that I'm not maybe picking up on the way that they want me to pick up on? Yes, thank you. Hold on. They invite you to connect to motherly energy, to the motherly energy, to the motherly behavior, to the motherly kindness and softness. As you work with crystals, solid, solid crystals, you need to get balance through the motherly energy. You can get it from the earth, you can get it from sort of from the animals, from humans, grandmotherly energy, sisterly energy, fem feminine energy. Select a of motherly energy for yourself. It could be a printout of of any of the human goddesses. or a queen, or a grandmother, or your mother. Yes, balancing through the love. And uh, as you work with the big energies, you need soft human touch. That's what they invite. That is so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. My final, final last question is just anything um, that they need me to know at this time, any other messages that are coming. Um, I am open to receiving any messages that you have to send. What is your challenge these days? What are your problems? Um, I'm a little overwhelmed with everything that has happened. Um, I've started speaking light languages just recently, a few days ago. Um, I had taken an Assyrian um, infusion. So I think that is what is coming through. And I'm starting to see um, uh, shapes and, and beings and things in my crystals. So just there's so much coming through all at once, a whole bunch of different gifts activating. And I guess that is my challenge. I just kind of want to know what direction I should be focusing on. Thank you. Wait a minute. Do you know the name of your higher self? No, I do not.
two names come to my mind, Lucia and Maria. Somehow they are connected. It is a lighter part of the idea of the Mary. Connect to your higher self. And as you do through your daily routines, seeing something simple, dance something simple, stay in the in the lighter sense of mind, light, lighter yourself and lighter your mode of being. Put things in order, clean up, put things in order, clean up things outside. And as you do the clean up and organize it outside, organize your inside. I want to make it prettier, move things around to harmonize. And through that, connect to Lucia Maria. Thank you so much. That makes so much sense. So much sense. And thank you for everyone um, here. I send my love and blessings to everyone. Thank you. Love and blessings. Thank you much. Thank you. Wonderful questions. Wonderful energy. Thank you. I have God another bless. 15 minutes. I invite more questions uh, and comments and sharings. Can I ask something? Uh, sure. Uh, I am very happy to be part of Hukolo community. And uh, some weeks ago, I applied to visit colonies and also uh, donate my DNA and DNA infusions. I want to know any progress. How do you say your name? Ketul? Yes. Can you pronounce it for me? Ketul. Ketul. Mm. Tell me about your problems these days. Yes, I understand the question. I just wanted to hear more, to connect more to you. In a way, I don't see any problems. <laughs> okay, any excitement, any higher excitement today? Other than... No, I'm just, I'm just open to everything. I'm just open and waiting for next big opportunity, waiting to see where the next big breakthrough in terms of spiritual development comes from. I'm not sure if it's going to come through meditation or channeling or finding somewhere else or through some problems in life. So I'm open to all options. How is your health? It's good. Hmm. There is a blockage in you. I guess it is cultural. What culture are you coming from? Indian. Ah. Hmm. My understanding that it is a cultural blockage. Hello. Can you hear my question? What is your favorite color? white and this is an indication of the cultural blockage yes and so you need to your personality has been repressed to the way to satisfy the satisfy their superiors to satisfy everyone around so you lost your personal connection you are not being able to feel your favorite color, you're not being able to feel your problems, you're not being able to feel your pain. That is your challenge. The way is to do any step in any direction and feel the inner feeling. What do you feel? How does it feel? Feel your pain inside. Feel your suffering and feel your choices. Discover your favorite color, that's assignment number one. Discover your attachments, discover your preferences. Your soul is so blocked by the culture and traumas of the upbringing that you need to reconnect to your own self. And to do that, you might use your steps outside, but as you step outside of your
inside of yourself as you do some new steps forward as you connect to other people connect to other people see what how they look at you and then come back and reflect on yourself contemplate self-reflection self-analysis so look at yourself and try to un block your your inner core i will give you some symbol hold on a second what's your favorite food i'm not sure what's your favorite drink water what's your favorite smell watermelon some personality coming out so how do you feel about manga about what manga uh, sorry I couldn't oh, mango, mango fruit mango sorry mango fruit. yeah yeah it's good but I prefer lighter fruit which ones watermelon lighter with more water all right so as you connect to watermelon that would be your symbol for discovering who you are discovering your preferences of it is sufficient as you connect to the watermelon start uncovering your inner self it is you have beautiful past lives as a man and a woman connect to them connect to your inner core and the energy will start coming through the personality will come out you need to become more individualized individualized cover your preferences your unique qualities your unique traits of character make them bold don't be afraid to be different don't be afraid to step out of the norm as you step out of the norm for creation as a standardized being, being you are less energetic and less interesting for the creator are the ones which you need to cherish that's the biggest step for you at the moment just uncover your personal traits choose if you don't know what to choose choose something choose a color at random and live with this favorite color for a while and then you will be guided to know if it is good for you or not if it is truly you or not at different days and weeks you might have a different favorite color so on with other preferences yes recently what has happened is that I have lost preference in anything. I'm fine with either way. Um, I don't have any inspiration or any preference or any strong connection for any any kind of way. I'm just fine with either way. I'm just and there are no problems either. I'm just good with any way life goes, any way whatever happens. And that is because of the blockage. Try to unblock it gradually, lovingly. Embrace your individuality. And what's Take your the, time. No rush. Take your time. Okay. Uh, what's the best way to do it? Is meditation going to help? Or what would help me the best? Crystals, meditation, or just going about life, facing problems? Or... Going about life, making a step seeing the reflection of your personality in others, coming back to yourself, to seclusion, and analyzing how do you feel about it? What's your personal preference? As you see, uh, as you see yourself through the eyes of others, how the others look at you, you discover yourself. Others use, use other people 
as mirrors, as you use other people for self-discovery, as you become related to them, connect to them, learn about yourself. You see, it is both. You start communicating more at the same time you focus on analyzing who you are in reality. What's your spiritual you know, individuality? Thank you so much. So two steps. Step outside of your world, do new things, and then come back and reflect. And come back can be done through meditation. In meditation, ask for, the, for revealing who you are. As you choose crystals, prefer one over another. Feel them, feel them, make preferences. See which color resonates with you. What is really coming from inside, inside. Not who, what I say, not what anyone else say. You listen to me, listen to others, and then listen to your inner self. I had a feeling that one of the spiritual goal is not to prefer anything, just to be happy with any option, just to be happy with anything. And I feel like I have been able to achieve that. And you think that this is a blockage? Isn't it good to just be happy with any options, just to be equally good with anything that happens, having no preference? Understand the question. Hold on a second. Connect to the ideas of different teachers, of the gurus, and see if they had individuality. Achieve the balance through two ways. One, through blocking your individuality. And second, through unblocking your individuality. As you expand, as you become, as you find your individuality, you reach the level of the balance in a new way. Right now, you preferences and that kind of block the energy flow many teachers and gurus they have very strong individuality they accept the world they accept the outside equally but they have the inner strength inner preferences inner signature jesus krishna maharaji maharaja um, Every guru was had very strong personality, and yet they accepted the world as it is. So, personality is expressing your personality and becoming one with the world is different. So, first you uncover your personality, recover it, and then expand to unite with the world, and then you accept the world as it is. Did it answer your question? Yes, thank you so much. Much love. Much love, thank you. Are any more urgent questions? That would be, I guess, the last question. Uh, Julie and others, do you have any questions? I have uh, one small final question. Shirley here? Yes, thank you. Um, my question is, the name of my higher self, I don't know. Can you explain? If there is a name you, to my higher self, what would my name be? Ah, the, the, I, part of the question just disappeared, so now I understand. You're asking about the question for your higher self.
right now I'm not supposed to to know this name but I was given an image of a green marble just a green marble as an image which would connect you to your higher self and keep asking how about that okay well I have a very strong connection to the crystals so maybe that's of some significance Any more urgent questions? Thank you. Can I have a question? Oh, yes, great. Julie, yes, thank you. Like, uh, when I try to do Reiki to myself, mm -hmm. I don't feel like it's working. Hold on. So Julie asks, doing Reiki for herself doesn't work. Try doing it on others. Maybe do not others can open there it doesn't mean that it doesn't flow it means that you cannot feel it uh, so try doing it on others and when there is a teacher nearby the teacher can open that flow it doesn't have to be a teacher a formal teacher could be anything even a cat could be a teacher but Basically, you need to learn how to feel it and anyone open that sensation for you. So look but for it. It still works, even though it's good. It could be. It's working, but you just don't feel it. So you need someone to switch, to turn a switch on you so you can feel it. And it has to be someone energy. Could be to open that switch. Could do it now, but I, I'm running out of connection, so maybe some other time. Any more urgent questions before I finish? I thank you for the co-creation. I thank you for being you. I thank you for listening to me. I miss you all. I want to hug every one of you. Mm. I see your light. I see energies. I bathe in your energies. I bathe in your friendship. I miss you all. And uh, if you like, call for me. I'm Nina. I will come. I send you there. Hi from my alien hybrid friends. Hi from my Gurkfit near friends. We are near, and as you transform, we become near. You come to us, we come to you. Time of the day, have a good moment, have a good state, smile as we smile. We smile with gratitude. Thank you much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Goodbye. Hey guys, I'm not fully back, but I can see you. Hey Gabriel, Katul, Lewis, V, hey Julia. All right, I will repeat the announcements. Um, what I remember. Find us on, uh, subscribe to Hukula Tute. On YouTube, search for H U C O L O Hukula to subscribe to that because you channel now. We copy it back to Hukula TV, but broadcasting is on Hukula too. Sub, uh, join us on Facebook, search for Hukula Facebook group, H U C O L O Facebook group. 
page and there is the group. Join the group. Uh, um, leave your feedback under the video. Leave the feedback. Send it to me at maxathumancoin.org. Send your donations to maxathuman.org for Jim's monitor. Um, I invite the volunteers to press the buttons during the webinar and moderate the webinars. And invite uh, volunteers to trans convert the, our videos to uh, sound files and create a radio channel for smartphones and uh, and see you soon. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Oh, Gabriel. All right. I'll stop the broadcast. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. Oh, I I guess yeah, yeah. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye.